In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HBr plus FeS. This is hydrobromic acid plus iron 2 sulfide. So to do this, first we need to balance the molecular equation. So I can see I have a hydrogen here and two hydrogens here. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the HBr. Those are balanced two bromines, two bromines. I have one iron here and here. Those are balanced one sulfur, one sulfur. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. We're going to assume that this will be aqueous. HBr, it's a strong acid, so it'll dissolve and dissociate. We're going to say that it's aqueous here. For FeS, this is iron to sulfide. Sulfides in general, unless they're bonded to elements in group 1, they're going to be insoluble. So let's call this a solid here. H2S, a little bit more problematic. If it's in water, since we have this aqueous solution, it could be dissolved in the water, or it could be a gas. Let's say that it's aqueous, it stays dissolved in the water, and then compounds with bromines here, that's going to be aqueous. So we have our states, and really if this is a gas or aqueous, it won't change too much at the end. We'll talk about that later. So after we have the states, we'll split the strong electrolytes, and only the strong electrolytes. So hydrogen group 1, that's 1 plus. The bromide ion is 1 minus. Since this is a strong acid, it's a strong electrolyte. We'll have two hydrogen ions. I'll write the states at the end. Let's not do that right now. Plus two bromide ions. And then in net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we'll just keep this as our FeS, our iron to sulfide. Those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, H2S, it's a weak acid. So we're not going to break it apart. We don't split apart weak acids. So it's just going to stay H2S. And then for our iron 2 bromide, bromine, that forms ions at 1 minus, and we have two of them, so the iron's going to be 2 plus. We'll have the iron 2 ion, and then we'll have two of these bromide ions. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're the same on both sides. So as I look through here, I see two bromide ions in the reactants and in the products. Those are spectator ions which we can cross out. But everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation here for hydrobromic acid plus iron 2 sulfide. I'll clean this up, write the states, and then let's talk about this aqueous here for a bit. So here is our balanced net ionic equation. All the atoms are balanced, and charge is balanced too. We have 2 times 1 plus, that's 2 plus. Over here, we have the 2 plus. So charge is balanced. For the H2S, if it's aqueous, we've still kept it together because it's a weak acid. We could say it's a gas. If we said it was a gas, that wouldn't change anything except we'd change this to G. So you really can't tell unless you're told in the actual question that this is called aqueous or it's a gas. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for HBr plus FES. Thanks for watching.